Hey, I just want to let everyone know that I am currently, if you notice, I am very easily swiveling back and forth. And that has to do because I am not in my wheelchair. I am in a wheeled chair <laughs> because <laughs> I got a flat. And currently, all the bike shops are closed and Amazon won't deliver it until like May 15th. So don't know what I'm going to do. Gonna, I, I think I found a a bike shop that has the right tube, but I won't know until I get there and have them put it in my trunk and then try to fit it on my wheelchair. They're going to put a tube in your trunk? Yeah, we're going to put a tube. We're going to have a stranger open up my hatch, put a tube in the trunk, wink, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and <laughs> Well, we already know you're used to having tubes shoved in you, so I, I guess that uh, it's nothing new. Yeah, I was so mad. It was such a nice day yesterday. And I was stuck deep in a rabbit hole of research. And, like, you know when you go cross-eyed after just, like, staring at a screen for too long? You know what I'm talking about, Andrew. And then, I don't scare, stare at screens. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, and, and I was, like, getting to the point where I was, like, I cannot keep typing. Like, my brain is melted. I got to go. I got to get out of this apartment. I got to get away from screens. I got to go do something. So I went for a roll, went for a push, and... uh Managed to run over some glass, so that was nice. Glad that happened. Mm. And you know what's so funny is someone literally messaged me on my Instagram maybe, I don't know, a week ago. My time is so confused. So maybe it was a week, maybe it was a month, I don't know. Uh, being like, hey, man, I just got some uh, air tires. What's your uh, backup plans for, you know, tubes and air pumps? And I was like, oh, well, I got this, you know, like handheld compressor that's pretty cool. But, you know, I've never you know, got a flat. So, you know, I'll, I'll probably just, you know, maybe I'll, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get some, some more tubes and I didn't, but I should have apparently, apparently, apparently you should have gotten some tubes and apparently then you wouldn't be having this problem. And apparently my grandpa wants me to go on the super slide. Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> I, I used to wear solids specifically for this reason. Solids were no flats. You never have to inflate them. But solids you rocked solids for like years, right? Oh yeah, I rocked I rocked solids for so many years because the they're a little bit. I mean, they're a little bit heavier. I mean, but it's not a big deal. Do you deal. think it's gonna I'm, change anything now that you've like gotten a flat and you're like, fuck this, I'm going back to solids? No, because I still, still no, because I still kind of like pneumatic a little bit. Um, I remember it was it was our friend Ryan Baker who who convinced me out of the solid tires because I've got carbon blade wheels, and, and he's, he's like, like, that's yeah. Go, he's go like, this is the, this is the he goes, this is the equivalent of putting monster truck tires on a Porsche. He's like, why would you have lightweight wheels and then put giant, heavy, clunky tires on them? And I was like, to avoid flats. And he's like, okay, then get regular wheels then. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and also, you can feel pretty much every little bump. I mean, he always used the analogy of like, you could run over a credit card and feel it, which is not wrong. You pretty much feel everything you run over. Including glass. Including what now? Including glass. Including glass. Yeah, and it was so. <laughs> I was so. I was so annoyed, man, because it was like right next to a construction sign that was all like bendy and floppy, and I went to whack it, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna check its flexibility. Da -da 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 -da. You know, just being stupid and goofy, and then all of a sudden I hear, and I'm like, oh, cool. There it goes. Nice. That sucks. And to everyone listening on audio, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think they got the the tire exploding ASMR. That was good. Um, yeah. So what did you do after you had the flat tire? So I was with uh, Jalila at the time, and um, oh, so like, you weren't hey. just by yourself? I thought you were by yourself. Yeah, I, I had her meet up with me because I wanted to go for a push. The day before, um, Anas and I went for a uh, little adventure around the neighborhood, and we found some like really cool, like paths that had been abandoned behind an abandoned like office building that was like an old an old cox building so it had been abandoned for like a long time <laughs> cox uh yeah and well it was before comcast slash nbc bought cox cable and just merged it but anyway so there was like some cool stuff but it was a it's not it's not far but it's not close either um and I was trying to go back there, and then I popped the tire, and I was like, okay, cool. So, and, I, and since the the wheels are carbon fiber, I didn't want to roll on them with a the flat. So, I asked yeah. her if she could if she could go back to her place and, and grab her car and then drive back. 
And in the process, I like did a bunch of research on like the right kind of tube and where to get it from and, and you know, how much it cost. And, you know, it was like the best place to get it is going to be like four weeks. Or, like, I wonder if weeks. there's like anyone in the community that like is local that like works at a bike shop or works on bikes or something like that. That could be like, yo, I can like bring one over to your house. Like, you know, well, there's a guy. Yeah. I mean, there's a guy in my building that has one, uh, but he's staying somewhere else right now. There's also two big, like wheelchair manufacturer type places nearby and like nearby within like an hour. I mean, and not manufacturers like a DME type place. And, um, the, they don't have the one that I'm looking for. And there's a bike shop that has one. I think I, I ordered it last night. It said it was in stock, but when I called them this morning, they were like, I don't think we carry tubes like that. And I'm like on your website, it said it was in stock. So I ordered it and I paid for it. And he's like, I don't know, man, we might have to order it in. And I'm like, well, if you order it in, cancel it because I'm going to go some, find it somewhere else to find it. Like, right, don't, yeah. Like, can't, like, I'm not going to buy, wait for you to get something shipped to you so I can go pick it up when I could just get it shipped to me. God, I hate that so much. Like, I hate that so much whenever I order something from a company and they're like, well, we don't have it. So we're going to order it from another company and then we're going to bring it to here. So then you can pay us instead of paying them. It's like, no, just don't be a middleman. Don't be a fucking scummy ass middle middleman and just be like, oh, sorry, we don't have it. But these guys do go get it from them. Like, yeah, but I think there's a. Uh I mean, with a lot of cases, they don't do their, like, like a lot of, um, manufacturers don't do any shipping direct to customer. Like they don't want to deal with customers. That's the whole point. That's why they do retail. Cause they're like, we don't fucking want to deal with retailers. Like it's, it's, it's kind of like in breaking bad. Like if you're making like 38 pounds of meth, you're not trying to go out and sell to individual people. You're trying to sell to a distributor. Who's then going to do the dirty work of dealing with the annoying customers. Cause a lot of people that are in that space don't want to fucking deal with customers. That's the whole point. Like they're, they, True. that's why they use a middleman because they don't want the hassle. And then the middleman, they're getting paid and paying the extra because they're having to do with customer service and returns and all the bullshit of dealing with the messy work of dealing with actual humans versus a manufacturer who's just like, we're really good at making the product. We don't want to fucking talk to people. If you want to stock our stuff, awesome. If you don't, cool. You know what I mean? That's the purpose of it, I feel like. Yeah, that's if they're ordering it from the manufacturer, but I'm talking about people that just order it from another store. Oh, and the, yeah. That's yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, what the what the fuck? Like, you're just gonna order it from another place and then mark it up and give it to me? Like, fuck you! Like, I, I don't know. I just <laughs> yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, I, I have such bullshit. a, I have such a disdain for middlemen that in, inject themselves into places that don't exist. They they don't need to be, and all the only reason they're there is just to collect money from. Oh well, there's a finder's fee, and oh well, there's an upcharge, and oh well, there's a deli- man, delivery fee. Sh- man, shut up, just shut up. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you'd like to see the full episode, click right here. If you'd like to subscribe, click here. If you'd like more clips, we got two more right over here. <laughs>